Hello guys, just want to do another uh, quick little video here on one of my uh, handguns that I like a lot. I don't know how good you can see that, but it is a, uh, it's a Ruger. Um, don't really care too much for the, the box that came in, but you know, it beats some of the cardboard boxes you get from the other manufacturer, so not really complaining too much. As you can see, the gun is clear. Nothing in it. Empty. Um, what we have here it's a Ruger SR9C. Um, this is a great little gun. Um, comes with uh, two magazines. You get a full size 17 rounder with a little sleeve for it. So it makes it a uh, basically a full size SR9 grip um, with a compact uh, slide and barrel. You also get a 10 rounder. Fits nice in there. And it's good for concealing. Um, I use it with the pinky grip extension. Um, I just like having all, all my fingers on the gun instead of having one hang off. So my personal preference. Um, now the gun itself, I bought it brand new off of uh, budsgunshop.com. Um, love buds. Prices are unbeatable. But uh, when I got the gun, took it out to the range. And originally I bought this for my wife for uh, home defense, you know, when I'm out of town or whatnot, you know, she could, uh, nine millimeters more manageable than a 40 or 45 or whatnot. So she liked it, bought it for her, I took it to the range, put a couple hundred rounds through it, had a couple of failure to fires, light strikes. So I was thinking, uh, you know, what the hell, brand new gun, a couple hundred rounds through it and it's already, uh, have primer light strikes. So called Ruger, told him what the problem was, and he sent me a new striker assembly. Um, while I was waiting for that in the mail, I actually ordered, went online and ordered a new striker assembly spring. Um, it's a heavier spring. Uh, it's supposed to advertise at 20% more um, power or whatnot. So I, I installed that one, the spring, because um, I got that before I got the uh, new assembly from Ruger. So I haven't tried the new Strikler assembly from Ruger, but with a new spring in this gun, about another 500 rounds through it since then, not one issue whatsoever. So that seemed to fix the problem. So at least I have a spare uh, Strikler striker assembly if I ever need uh, to replace it. Now, one other complaint I have about this gun, I don't know if you can see real good here, but right, right there is a little pin. Okay, right above the mag release. That pin um, was starting to walk out on me a little bit. Um, so what I did, I put a little Loctite in there, and uh, it stays put now. It hasn't moved at all since I put the Loctite in there. Um, this gun has a few safety features. You got the manual thumb safety here, which, you know, I actually like it. Some people hate it, but, you know, if I'm concealed carrying, I'll, I'll keep the safety on, and it's really easy to flip off. I mean, you can draw it, flip, ready to fire. Also has the Glock like uh, trigger safety. You have a cocked indicator in the back here that sticks out a little bit. Um, it comes with a magazine disconnect safety. So basically if your magazine's out you can't fire the weapon or the gun, firearm, whatever you want to call it. I know some people get all bent out of shape depending on what you call your gun. But uh, I removed that. It's real simple. It takes about two minutes to do if that. So now my gun will fire without without the magazine inserted, which is great. So, yeah, takedown's pretty simple. Um, you just lock the slide back, push this little pin out here, comes out the other side. I'm not gonna do it, but you know, I'm taking it apart plenty of times. But that just comes out, and then. Uh, the internals are similar to any other uh, semi-auto, you know, polymer pistol. You know, you got your recoil spring, your barrel, it all comes right out. But, uh, yeah, actually, you know, has a loaded chamber indicator on top too, which is pretty, pretty drastic. I mean, it sticks up pretty good. I don't know how much you can see, but, you know, it's, it, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, you know, probably for the lawyers. They needed that in there to sell to certain states, I'm sure, but... Um, doesn't really bother me. It's got pretty good uh, three dot sights on there. 
Um, eventually, I'll probably get night sights on this for the wife. You know, since she does use this for, uh, you know, her home defense gun if I'm not around. So, yeah, I mean, you don't get a whole lot with this gun. You get two magazines. You get a uh, magazine assist, like loader. You know, that's about it. And paperwork that I took out of the case it does come with the spent casing and all that good stuff. But, you know, Bruger SR9C. I'm digging it. I actually I conceal it. I can still carry it every now and then with this magazine inserted. And I use a just a cheap Uncle Mike's uh, sidekick holster, size 12, inside a waistband. You know, fits pretty good in there. It has a plastic clip. You know, holds pretty good. So, yeah. Um, even though it's my uh, quote-unquote wife's gun, I do uh, can still carry it quite a bit. Uh, between this and my uh, Caltech P11, those are my two primary carry weapons. Um, yeah, but uh, that's it. That's my uh, Ruger SR9C.